Hey guys! Hey! Welcome back to our channel. It's Kai and Candy, and today we want to talk about the uh, conception process that the we the elephant. Had. Yes, the big elephant in the room. Um, <laughs> you guys have seen the last few videos, um, and we are expected. Amazing. <laughs> and uh, so many people want to know, like, you know, how did you guys do this? How long has, have you been in the process, and things like that? So we just want to give you a little bit of of a snippet as to you know what we've gone through in this mm -hmm. process and how we felt about the process and things like that so um i will and babe can i before we even go a little bit further i do want to say a disclaimer because one thing that has bothered me and even the barely 24 hours mm -hmm. that we have shared the information is the blatant disrespect of questioning mm -hmm. um what i mean by that is just going to well how she get pregnant with like a hundred exclamation marks as if i'm an alien or something like that like i'm a woman i have a reproductive system mm -hmm. there's obviously ways that women who are in relationships with other women can get pregnant mm -hmm. now i had a friend ask me uh, and say you know i would like for you to share your journey on you know your pregnancy it's a much better way some of y'all didn't even say congratulations you didn't even brush your teeth before you comment on my video but that's another thing <laughs> and you you know you went right into what was going on into my uterus so that's just always what it's about and i also saw another thing about that we get offended by questions I, yeah we do get offended by questions that are generally offensive like that's just what people do but i just wanted to say that i think we quick. don't get offensive <laughs> when it's a genuine question when it's a genuine question yeah. but that's what i'm saying but a question that's meant to offend you yeah you get offended by yeah, it. <laughs> we have um we have found oh well we have people who subscribe and they ask general questions all the time like that's you fine. know so many people like we recognize your name we really appreciate your questions mm -hmm. we appreciate all your love and support all of the aunties out there yes. that can't can't wait to see the baby and things mm -hmm. like that we appreciate you yeah. and we don't mind the questions but At all. again when you're not even coming to congratulate and you yeah. know the first thing you say is let me just address the elephant in the room because everybody's scared to ask how did this Come even on. happen that, like obviously it can't be a oops you know it had to be yeah. something that was planned you know in order for it to happen yeah. if there's two women involved like obviously i can't get her pregnant so people in my family <laughs> haven't even um, you know, open their mouth to ask me that type of question. So, yeah, I, it is a little bit uh, personal and, and sensitive to me when a complete stranger online is asking me that. Would I ask you, you know, what position were you in when you conceived your baby? I don't think so. And if I did, you would probably think, what the hell is wrong with me? It's equivalent, you guys. It's equivalent to um, asking a person who's not married you know who's the father when they say I'm, I'm pregnant well who's the father there we go that's not okay you yeah know what i mean like you would never ask a woman who's the father who's the father? Child, you know if <laughs> without you know it being offensive yeah so yeah. you gotta be careful not to on what you people. say to people yeah. just be careful about that yeah. but we was gonna let y'all know we was gonna let y'all in and let y'all know details processes and all of that as well but have a little patience first of all <laughs> so anyways babe okay now that that's addressed um so maybe about i would say may or june um mm -hmm. is when we kind of started this process going yes um and we thought that she was pregnant well she thought that she was pregnant mm -hmm. um at that time and yeah. Um, she was very, very broken up when she took the first test and it said yeah. negative. And, um, you know, for me, I couldn't quite understand how, you know, uh, she was so broken up about it. This is just me being uh, raw with you guys because, you know, again, my, my goal is to always help you guys, you know, anybody else that may be going through the situation. But, you know, I couldn't understand why she was so broken up about it because I felt like this is just the beginning. Like, mm -hmm. you know, we got plenty of time. This might be, you know, a notice time, but... You know, who's to say that it can't be a yes the next time? I know it's going to take some time. It's right. not It's not just the overnight thing, you right. know. So, um, you know, I just had to really just put my feelings to the side and support her because it was very rough for her to find out that she wasn't pregnant at that time. Yeah. Um, and for me, I will say it was a plethora of things. Um, I'm super open and honest and transparent. So, 
you know, the very first thing is I have been pregnant before. Mm -hmm. um, I've shared this on my other channel when I was a teenager. Um, that's not a pregnancy that I decided to go forth with. So because of that, having that happen and then trying to go through the process of going to my physician and wanting to conceive um, and it not happening that very first time, it was just kind of like a fear. Mm -hmm. You know, I am older. No, I'm not like in my thirties or anything, but I'm about to be 26. Obviously I've been with Kai, so I, I don't even know what it's like to experience like a oops or I missed my period or anything. Right. So it was just kind of like a, a wondering or it's a thought in the back of your head. Like, you know, is did this mess me up? You know, the, are my chances diminished? Right. You know? And I think that every blow when you are trying to conceive every no is really hard mm -hmm. and really difficult. I definitely don't want to compare my journey to a lot of other women who have had to hear no's um, continuously and far more than what I have because mm -hmm. it's absolutely not comparable. But I definitely understand that every no hurts. Mm -hmm. Every single one hurts when you when it's something you want mm -hmm. and you desire so badly in your life. Yeah, so I think once... Um, so fast forward... We um, we had our vacation, our yearly vacation schedule, like mm -hmm. we always do. Yes. Um, we went to Mexico mm -hmm. in October. Um, and the whole vacation, she was sick. Um, she just, I would look up, I'm at the pool having margaritas, and she like, I'll be back. And she's in the room, sleep somewhere. Yeah. You know, so, <laughs> or, or, or get, we in the restaurant eating, and she's like, I'll be back, and she's getting sick somewhere, mm -hmm. you know. So, I'm like, when we get back, you're taking the test, because... You know, again, we're still in the process of trying, so right. it's like, I'm not sure if this is, you know, the time or not, but, you know, yeah. something ain't right here, so yeah. we're going to find out when we get back. Um, the day we got back from vacation, we stopped at Walgreens, mm -hmm. and we got a test, so I was like, well, it's too late in the evening to take it, you know, so, so, so it's tomorrow it in the morning. morning. So, she, she took the test. At 6 a.m. At 6 a.m. <laughs> And I'm standing at the sink. She's sitting on the toilet. TMI, I know. Yeah. Um, but the first thing that came to my mind was what happened the first time. I was like, okay, well, I know that if this is, it says no, how disappointed she's going to be. And it was dramatic. You know, like, like, it was like, take me to the bar. Like, yeah, I'm just crying. I want to drink and cry. Yeah, it was dramatic. So <laughs> I was just like, you know, okay, I don't want another episode like before, just in case this is not you know, the answer that we're looking for. So I'm sitting there and I'm talking to her. I got the test in my hand. She sat on the toilet and I set it down on the sink. So I turn around, I look at her and I say, look, I said, don't be upset if this test does not give you the answer that you're looking for, because that doesn't mean it's over. Yeah. You know, we still can, we still can continue to try. And before I can get that out, I look over the sink and it's two lines there, and my mouth just dropped open. I'm like, I'm like, you pregnant? She's I'm like, I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. I was like, yes, you pregnant. So we called the doctor's office. I think two days later we was in, in the doctor's yeah, office. Yeah, real quick. Yeah, and um, and he did the sonogram and everything like that, and we realized that you it's know, a little heart. Yeah, yeah. So uh, the baby wasn't even big enough that we could see it. No, it, it was, was a um a transvaginal. Yeah, it was just uh, very, very small. So that's when we got the good news. And um, it was so hard holding in this news for yeah. so long. But as a woman and any woman who knows when you conceive, you don't really want to get that news right away because you want to make sure that this pregnancy is going to stick, that you're having a healthy pregnancy, and you're getting out of that first trimester. So Yeah, definitely. And so now that I'm out of the first trimester, I did want to be able to come and just share uh, with you all like ways that it can happen that lesbians, mm -hmm. queer women, you mm -hmm. know, can get pregnant and even straight women as well, because believe it or not, every straight woman just does not get pregnant by um, natural mm -hmm. um, conception. That's just not always how it goes. Mm -hmm. So there's a various processes. Okay. Um, one of the more expensive processes is probably IVF. Mm -hmm. So IVF consists of an egg being extracted from a woman mm -hmm. and it being um, 
put with the sperm from a sperm donor and a donor can be someone you know if you can get sperm from a sperm bank mm -hmm. it really depends on you and what um, you're looking for. what you're looking for personally and then once that egg has been Fertilized, they confirm that it's an actual pregnancy. They'll go ahead and put that egg back in you mm -hmm. so that the pregnancy can continue, um, can attach to your, your uterine wall and can continue to grow within your womb. Mm -hmm. Then there's just simple um, sperm donation. And that's basically like going to a sperm bank. It's considered like, I guess you can call it turkey based <laughs> method. <laughs> and it's just, you know, I mean, I don't have to get really graphic here, but you just, you basically yeah. go to the doctors, they put it inside of yeah. you when you're ovulating and yeah. you wait and see yeah. <laughs> type of thing. And then there's natural conception. And I think everyone knows how to natural continue. conception <laughs> happens. We're all grown here. Yeah. And the method that is going to work best for you is the method that is best on your relationship. Mm -hmm. your personal preference and definitely what your physician recommends mm -hmm. so that is what I would say that's my advice is to definitely talk to a doctor mm -hmm. about starting the journey even as a, um, a heterosexual woman I would definitely still talk to my OBGYN and just let them know that you are on the route to want to conceive so mm -hmm. that they have that and they can just start to help you with ovulation and things like that um, also don't um don't knock these sites out here. There's a lot of different yeah. websites out here for people who are having uh, fertility issues or who are thinking about the process, the IVF process and things yeah. like that. And it may be very costly, like she said, but mm -hmm. they have a lot of different um, payment plans that you can work out. You know, you can pay yeah. monthly if, uh, if you want to go that route. Um, it's a lot of different options out here for you. You know, if you want to go that route. So don't yeah. sleep on those. Because I was very discouraged. I, yeah. I thought that, like, um, because IVF, like she said, is so expensive. And I was under the assumption that that was the only way. So I was very excited to know that there were other ways, like sperm do donation, that works perfectly mm -hmm. fine. So yeah. that's great. Definitely do your research. Find out, you know, exactly how you want to conceive. And then find out, you know, what can you afford. You know, yes. if you want to go the IVF route... Like I said, if you can't afford to pay for it outright, research some different, um, different, and I wish I could remember right off the top of my head, but I can't, mm -hmm. but it's a lot of different sites out here that will allow you to do the payment plan. So if you, so if you go through this process, let us know mm -hmm. how it worked out for you. Yes. And then Kai, how are you really feeling about, um, the pregnancy in general? Because uh, that's also a question that I keep hearing as well. If you want to just touch on that a little okay. briefly. So I am very excited. Um, again, we talked about this mm -hmm. when we first met. Like, I knew she wanted to be a mom. You know, if I didn't feel like I wanted to go this route, then I would not have stayed in this relationship this long. I'm excited to, to uh, go through this journey because I feel like now I'm at a different place in my life. You know, mm -hmm. I'm older, I'm more stable, you know, I've raised children, so I know what to do and what not to do. You know, I don't feel like I can make the same mistakes that, you know, I did when I was younger. Um, so I'm very, very excited to be on this journey with her. I feel like it's officially making us an official family, if that makes sense. <laughs> so, Aww. yes. <laughs> so we really hope that this video helped um a lot of y'all it helped and i'm sure it killed a lot of y'all curiosity <laughs> nothing else and yeah anything else babe, to say no i mean just thank you guys for watching uh, thanks for too. all the positive questions and the respectful questions again we yes. don't mind the questions that's what we're here for you know just keep in mind that we are a uh, regular human beings with feelings so yeah. you know just try to be mindful of how you ask certain questions that can be very offensive you know if we don't answer you the way that we that you might expect it might be because you know you didn't say it the right way you know yeah. otherwise keep the questions coming we want to definitely answer more yeah. questions we're going to share our journey with you and um we just really appreciate you we do. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Also, click the notification bell so you will be notified every time we upload a new video. We'll see y'all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.